All right, so this build, I actually, let me see here. I know miracles and monsters. It's it's difficult. You know, I looked at everything and it was gonna, I wasn't gonna be able to make it. Let me see, is this it right here? Okay, uh, let me know if that link that link works guys that is pretty much everything that i'm using today um total it's about 876 maybe with tax like 890 but let me tell you something um you can build a better pc at that budget like you can build something stronger uh this of course was you know something that a customer wanted so he wanted it exactly like this this was what he wanted so you know, I, I kind of had no authority to tell him, hey, maybe you should go this or maybe you should get that. You know what I mean? It was more of like, oh, well, you know, this is kind of what I want. And um, the reason why it is a bit expensive is because this is all the latest shit that's out right now, except kind of for this card. Well, actually, this card is still pretty new, 960. Um, you know, of course, you know, it isn't a 1070 or 1080 because they're not out yet. But um, you know what I mean? Everything else right here, you know, I mean, um, you know, if you're going for a budget build, you don't necessarily need an SSD, which we have an SSD here. Of course, you know, that's something that the customer wanted. So he wanted an SSD. And then, um, you know, one thing about this build is it's DDR4 RAM. So DDR4 RAM is pretty much like high end right now. Um, they're pretty expensive. Uh, gives you a little bit of more, a little bit better, um, better performance than DDR3. But I mean, you know not that great but whatever what's up dalton how you doing and then i can put that over here and then of course you know hyper evo uh 212 or hyper 212 evo whatever you want to call it um this is a cpu cooler once again for this build this isn't necessary you know you don't need one of these um you know this build it's pretty much made to to update it you know what i mean um that's the reason for this build. I'm pretty sure this customer, what he wants to do is he wants something in the meantime, you know, he wants, you know, something cheap. And then he's probably going to go to I, to an I seven Skylake, uh, Lunik. I am from California. Welcome to the stream, by the way, uh, Lumok it's eight seventy about eight seventy five. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find everything on sale, but, um, you know it's it's a bit more expensive just because it's skylake skylake ddr4 um cpu wise it is an i3 all right this is kind of like the letdown because me i'm all about you know i7s however i went ahead and did some research on this actual chip and budget wise it actually does really good so you know if you're going to be doing nothing but gaming and you know you want to be able to at least build or have a foundation to build from this is going to be a good start right here um and like i said this is pretty much what this customer wanted uh you know i believe they have uh the i7 skylake 6700 and the 6700k um but then again you know that's the purpose of this cpu cooler um for overclocking you know what i mean this cpu this isn't a k series so it's not overclockable um, so that's kind of like, rah, 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 but, um, you know what I mean? If he gets an i7, a cake series, he's going to be able to overclock with this. No problem. This is actually what I have in my build and I have a 4790k and, you know, I have like a little, a little tiny, you know, a little tiny chode of a clock on there, but it's still pretty good. So we have this, you know, like I said, you know what I mean? Um, for a cheaper price, you can find a Haswell chip or even you can get a, um, um, what is it ivy bridge you can get something cheaper like a good i7 that'll do you well for streaming or pc gaming but you know if you want the latest shit then you know you want to be able to build from the foundation of course as i keep saying then you know probably want to look into something like this because you know pretty much this all you really need it or all you can really do to upgrade is you know get a new cpu an i7 i5 and you know a new graphics card uh, what else we have here? Uh, this here is this is a terabyte hard drive. Um, you know, pretty much everybody nowadays has terabyte hard drives. So I mean, that's kind of you know preference for uh, the customer. You know, your basic basic CD drive or DVD writer. That's the right way. There you go. Um, these you can find like twenty bucks. This you don't even need a CD drive anyway. My computer doesn't have a CD drive. 
I have an external drive and I'm fine with that. I'm only gonna fuck with that. Yeah, no, there is definitely always a cheaper option. You know, if you wanna go cheap, you can at least get a budget build for like 400 bucks. You know what I mean? And I'd like to do a budget build like that one day. Um, you know, even if one of you guys wants to go ahead and, and get a build and send it to me, I can do a live stream build of it so you can actually see your PC being built. And of course, you know, you just gotta pay for, of course, you know, shipping and handling because, you know, money doesn't come out of my butt. I wish it did, however, that'd be great. Um, or if you want to go AMD route, you could always do that. That's most likely, you know, um, budget build. Or if you want to get something like, a, what is it? The Intel Pentium G360 or something like that. It's, um, it's actually a chip that's unlocked. You could overclock the hell out of it. Um, good budget PC build if you want to do some gaming and whatnot. Um, now, motherboard, this right here, this is a pretty great board. Uh, I saw the reviews on it and it was um, pretty damn good. Somebody actually has a video. I forgot what video it was. I actually saw it earlier today, but they were actually using this exact same setup. And, you know, the guy who was building it was pretty much talking about, you know, how good it is to, to, um, to have this budget build and, you know, have the foundation to build them upon you know i keep saying foundation foundation seems like a really good word today um it is it's a really sexy motherboard let me let me show you let me show you guys i like msi motherboards that's what i have right now um it's a budget motherboard but dude like just all the stuff in it i mean it's great look at it it's a their motherboards are beautiful look at that look how pretty that is jesus christ ow fuck that hurt and then of course you have your two m m2 slots up here m2s that's actually um a faster platform than the ssd might want to get one of those those are extremely sexy cards this one as you see though you could actually put two m2 chips that's pretty damn good all right let's see we can go ahead and move this out of the way and then of course um i don't know the customer just gave me you know power supply like this which is the evga uh 850 watts this is a little bit overkill you do not need 850 watts unless you're going to be doing some crazy ass shit um you know you want to sli or crossfire your graphics cards and then have some water cooling as well um but 850 a little bit too much overkill for this this build um especially if the 1070 or 1080 comes out you're not going to need that much power um those cards literally, you know, they don't really run off um, off that much power. Corsair Carbide uh, 200R, I think. This is a pretty good budget case right here. You can find this case for like 60 bucks on sale, probably about like $39.99. Um, I've always liked these Corsair cases. Um, I mean, they don't have all this crazy lighting and stuff. For some reason, I've always liked like flat black cases. That's what she said. I'm gonna install the cooler, the CPU cooler. Now this is where things could get a little bit complicated, um, especially these uh, these Hyper Evos. You actually have to, uh, hold up, we actually have another. Uh, I should have probably uh, talked about tools required for this job, of course, you know, ESD strap, you know, a basic screwdriver. And I'm Mexican, so a lot of these screwdrivers can be found in my yard or like on the floor somewhere. So, hey, it's all you need. And courtesy of, um, of serial killers, um, a knife. This right here is probably one of the most important things you're going to need for this, guys. This is really important because you could just like. There we go. Or, you know, if you have any of those Counter-Strike prop knives, you could go ahead and use that as well. That works too. I'm just unboxing shit right now, so I have it all ready. All right. Once again, you know, make sure I don't shank myself on here because that's going to suck if I just bleed to death on stream and there's 32 viewers on here. All right, look at that. See this? Pieces of shit. However, however... If you're getting the CPU, I recommend you just stick to this. Then when you get your new, you know, if you get an i7, anything that's a K series, you're going to want this the CPU cooler then. This right here is, I would say pound for pound, one of the best budget CPU coolers out there. This little fucking bad boy, Jesus Christ.
And I, I buy these all the time. They're fucking great. They're sexy. You know, I don't I don't like doing liquid cooling. Um, and I don't have any liquid cooling in any of my PCs. Reason for that is because I hear so many stories about the radiators leaking and it just completely destroys everybody's computer. And you know, something like that, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna risk that, especially if it's if your CPU is only gonna be a couple of like you know degrees cooler. I can go ahead and just fucking I don't need that shit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that risk. I never would. You gotta be careful with this shit too. All right, I'm gonna install the CPU cooler and CPU. Whoa. These things are so stupid, but I mean, I guess they, they serve their purpose. You want to be careful right here, guys. All right. Don't put your fingers in here. Do not finger bang this because these pins are extremely sensitive. If you do anything but break those pins, you're fucked. So, um, and people actually, they won't return or they won't take a return if you actually have those little pins bent so be careful guys if you guys are are doing a build you do not want to fuck with those pins right there you do not because they will fuck you over i promise so don't don't fuck with that simple 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 you've got your uh your cpu right here this is like the easiest part right here. You want to make sure you align this bitch like right on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Surprise, motherfucker. Uh, th literally simple right here. This is papitas, papitas. And I did say that. I'm Hispanic. So, you know, don't be scared of this too, guys. When you guys are doing a build like this, you see this shit and you're like, where are this? There's a lot of force in here. Is, am I supposed to do that? Yes, you're supposed to do this shit. You know, bend that, bend that shit back. Like your baby mama's leg. When you're trying to do some dirty things with her. This is garbage. Garbage. How this works is this thing that I'm gonna spread its legs open Woo, like that um, there's actually little holes right here when you push this up and you move it out it's actually for different type of sockets so this CPU cooler is compatible with a lot of different processors a lot of different processors you know even if you got AMD it's also compatible with AMD as well and this is fun you know you go ahead and That's fun right there. Anybody can build a PC, yes. Unless you're blind. I mean, you know, people could prove me wrong. They have proved me wrong before. I've got this calibrated now. Now I have to I have to backdoor it. I'm doing it like this first because um if you have a case that actually has check it out. Actually, this one will be able to do it. If you want to like, you know that in here it's actually for that so you could actually screw the back plate on there you know what i mean some uh some cases actually don't have this hole right here you could do a lot of different things with this hole you know you could stick your dick in it too if you want but i'm not going to do that today because well i'm not going to do that ever <laughs> this is actually going to go in the back of the motherboard this is going to go right there sorry i'm flipping you guys off that's actually the only finger i have available that i feel it's safe to uh multitask with um the amd one actually goes this way i think and then intel is actually flat so that's why this thing is universal all right do that put that back near get it right in the middle And I might even do like maybe like a virus removal stream as well. So if any of you guys, any of you guys get caught with the whole computers locked up from looking at, you know, Pornhub or something like that, I can help you guys out. You know what I mean? 69 viewers. That's actually what we're trying to shoot for, man. 69 viewers would be great. All right. So here it is, guys. This is what I do. And I barely started doing this. 
What I do is I do the little P. I put a little a little P sized um, a little P sized thing in Majiggy of thermal paste. Some people like spreading that shit. If you want to save time, you're gonna get. I guarantee you, you're gonna get the same the same temperatures. If you spread that shit, if you put a little P drop there, doesn't matter. But you know, I stopped spreading that shit and don't put a lot guys. You do not want to put a lot because when you put a lot, it actually unevens out the temperatures and you can fuck your shit up. So don't even, don't even try. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck. I went. Oh no, it's too much. Now we're good. We're good. That's a little, that's a little bean right there. Fuck dude. Like I barely pressed it and it just like it shot up, man. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can take this off. This is getting annoying. All right. This is actually already grounded. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not going to do it. All right. Here we go. All right. Like I said, don't make things too tight. The CPU cooler. I mean, it's, it's a little pain in the ass sometimes really. Cause you know, if you go really tight on it, your computer will like restart a couple times. So I'm going to be easy with it. Pop that bad girl all right Let's see cpu fan one cpu fan two wow i remember back in the days where motherboards didn't have all this stuff all these extra slots all right here we go art ram easy peasy time yeah yeah go yeah yeah go this is 16 gigs, so you know what I mean? This is more than what you need. 16 gigs, at least for this, is a bit overkill. You know, if you can do, you know, perhaps like 8 gigs, you should be all right still. But, well, actually, I guess, you know, 16 gigs is kind of minimal now, I guess. Eh, I guess so. Cow chop! Cow chop! Now to set this bad boy in here. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta get the uh there we go. We're missing something. We're missing something. -da! The little back plate as well. You need this shit. Ooh, wow. God damn dude, I like I like how MSI does their little back plates. Guys, oh my god. It's like it's so squishy! Look at this. It's so squishy. Sugar tits. <laughs> this is a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice PSU. You know, you don't want eco ever. Okay, eco off. That's what I want. Fuck you. Fuck the economy. All right. All right. That'll be good. But um, yeah, we should be good. Everything is is fresh on here. Let's see, put this out of the way. What you want to do is you want to. Oh yeah. Oh no! Don't do this, guys. This is illegal. Mm -mm. Very very nice. PC master race, my friend. PC master race. See, this is like why Origin PC has to hire me. If they hire me, you know they'll have way better. Way better Twitch streams. Somebody that actually talks to their chat and knows what the hell they're doing. All right. Not that they don't know what they're doing, but still. Here we go. I'm fingering it again. Woo! We are almost done too. That was pretty quick. Actually, I'm, I am gonna toss everything down here. Yeah, let's do it. These two connectors, guys. These two. 
I mean, they kind of look similar, right? They kind of look alike. You would probably think like, oh yeah, well this one goes over here. And this one goes, yeah. They're not. They're completely different, guys. Don't fuck it up. See, luckily this this one's marked and it actually says CPU on there. Um, this other one actually says VGA. Uh, VGA, of course, goes to your graphics card. This goes to your motherboard. It's actually going to power up your CPU. So that goes over there. All right. Now that we have that in here. All right. Twist. Actually, I can go ahead and put this down now. Here we go. CPU. Of course, it's going to go up to up here. There's actually a slot right there where this goes. You want to make sure you get these right. And this as well. We got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of wires over here. I gotta I gotta do all the wire management. I said it wasn't gonna go crazy, which I'm not, but I'm gonna make it at least neat in here. That's one thing you guys don't want, guys. You guys do not want. I mean. Primarily, you want it to look like this. You don't want to have wires all over the place ever. It looks ugly You don't want that shit. So that's why you know if you if you get a case like this uh, these cases actually have You know More space in the back for wire management So what you're actually gonna be doing is you know, you're gonna be wire tying or zip tying excuse me um, You know some of these wires back here, but you know, this is for a customer. I don't have any zip ties. So Fuck that. We can we can make way with it. JFP one. Uh, let's see. One and two HD LEDs. Where are those stupid things? Here it is. HDD. One. Okay. That's gonna go right now. And power switch. Of course, you need to plug these little things in because if not, your computer is not going to turn on. <laughs> All right. These slots are sexy as hell, though. I'll tell you that. Slots, not sluts. Okay. Slots. Slots on this card. I'll tilt it. Oh, that's good right there. That's good right there. Here we go. Now. I don't know, it's always pleasing when you plug something in the computer. I'm pretty sure this just snaps in like this. Let's see here. Oh yeah, here you go. This is not, wait, here we go. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right in there, baby. Slide that out. And then like force my way in here. Oh, there we go. Now, now I can do this. Oh yeah. There's that. Let's see here. And I gotta screw it from the back. That's what she said. Here, <laughs> not really. She wants the double trouble. I just need to connect this fan in here. System fan. Like I said, I'm not gonna get too crazy with the environment. Oh wait, this is plugged in. Let's see here. Oh, this is what I didn't plug in. I didn't plug in the CD drive. Stupid CD drives. Stupid CD drives. There we go. All right, we are all connected now. Got our SATAs in here, that in here, that in here. Let me put the panels. All right. Usually, what I do is I flip this bitch. Wire management. This is where everything starts. Wire management. I mean, you can always zip tie everything here. You can, you know, if you don't want to expose, zip tie it out of here. That always works. But like I said, this is a, see, you know, you can do this to the side and that'll hide a couple of wires here and there. But you know, this is a customer computer, so screw it. 
not unless if it was one of you guys one of your guys computers and you guys requested it then I would do some crazy wire management but this is good right here now you screw that in here there's that side panel Oh man, come on, are you gonna screw in? <laughs> this is the hard part right here, screwing. This final screw in here doesn't want to screw. There it is. Here we go, fam. Alright. See here. Just wanna see if it'll post if this thing is on. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. Woo! 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 We did it! We got some power! Some power! Let's check out the bios. Oh, my key! What happened to my key? Oh, man, that sucks. That'll do. That's a really cool background, though. All the fire. But yeah, I mean this processor in general, like I said, um, with the build, there was a couple things that you didn't need. You know what I mean? You did not need, of course, um, like the CPU cooler. You do not need it for this computer because this processor, it's not even a K series, so you can't even overclock it. But you know, it's it's running really cool. Look at that! It's running at twenty seven. Look at that shit, guys. Fucking A. 27 degrees. That right now is colder than my nipples. But yeah, though, you know, it's it's a pretty decent build. You know, it's going to be able to handle a lot of games. And, you know, if this customer ever wants more power, he could, you know, he can go ahead and upgrade that processor. And, you know, he'll get enough power. You know, DDR4, uh, the CPU cooler. I mean, 28 degrees Celsius. That's, that's, that's fucking good. You know, my shit right now overclocked runs at like 46 or 37, but, you know, everything's all good. You know, like I said, this is DDR4 um, at 2133 megahertz. I think my RAM is 1866, so faster RAM, uh, 16 gigs. Oh, it actually goes up to three 3000 megahertz. Holy titties. That's like, let me see here. Well, I'm not gonna fuck with the. This is the only thing you could actually overclock on it is um, is the RAM on here, but I'm not gonna overclock shit. Uh, there's fan info. All right, that's about it. Ugh!